There once was a woman named Laura Brown. With a very prestigious position at Harper's Bazaar, she lived in the big city of New York, but had always fancied herself a downtown girl. One day, though, aching for a change, she decided to move uptown, to the Upper East Side more specifically. You all set? Yeah, can I have a glass of the... Rosé? Yeah, and then the... Kale salad. And then for... Carbonara? Yeah. But priding herself in being what Americans like to call a local at a number of spots downtown, Brown was eager to gain the same sort of status amongst vendors and businesses in her new neighborhood. Naturally, she turned to her friends at the New Potato for suggestions. As a resident of the downtown area of New York City myself, I can see how moving to the Upper East Side would be a big challenge. You know, the culture is different, the food is different, the dogs are different. The dogs are different, right. yeah. The water is different. No, the water is not different. I think it's a little different. <laughs> The point is, being a local is all about frequency. Mm -hmm. I mean, you literally should be there all the time. Agreed, you should literally live there. What? They closed the store before I could pay, so I have to stay here. We didn't mean literally live here. I was deeply troubled when I saw Laura sleeping at Barney's. I seriously don't think that girl has an apartment. I'm feeling in a generous mood, so I'm going to give her the number of my broker. Simon? Yes? We're opening. Oh. The new potato also let Laura know that half the battle of becoming a local concerns the simple things. Coffee, for example. Where will you get it every morning? And of course, striking up a conversation with one's peers. Okay, so I moved up here a couple months ago, but it's taken so long to get my stuff together, and I, I just finally had some time, so I watched it all weekend. I mean, like, hello, Netflix. But like, Blair and Serena, am I right? I just have a drama with all of them, and like, the whole family, and it's just like, so dramatic, but I kind of felt like it's like, it, my life. Hi. Oh, Hi. oh, oh shit, you're in it. I told her it probably wasn't Kelly Rutherford. Yeah, like Kelly Rutherford is chilling at Santa Ambrose on a Sunday. <laughs> well, not every Sunday, but most Sundays. When complications do arise, it's always prudent to bring on experts or natives from the area. Look, Laura, I grew up here. Right here, okay. like inside of here, okay? okay? And so what you're gonna do every single weekend on Sunday, not Saturday, is you're gonna come and you're gonna roll in around noon. You're okay. not gonna look too dressed up. You're gonna be in flat riding boots. They don't have to be riding flat. boots if you don't want them to be, but people are really gonna like that. Mm -hmm. But you can do whatever you want because okay. you are your own person. Actually, you can't. Flat riding boots. You're gonna wait online. It's gonna be noon. There's gonna be a line out the door. You might have to wait in front of Manrico. Huh? Yeah, with, or with all the yarn in the window. You but might it's have to wait in front of that there. and look and see the colors, and you're just gonna wait. And you know why? Why? Because when you get in, you're gonna have the best tuna of your life. You're right, yeah. You're right. I know. I'm gonna do everything you say. Just don't ask the person next to you how old she is. 28. Oh no, no not her, not me. She's gonna be 65. Oh. She's gonna be fine. She's gonna do well. If you explore more into the outer reaches of your new neighborhood, you should still try to take up the activities that your peers in those areas enjoy. All right, so like you bring your arm back like this. Yeah. 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 And then it's like it's all on the wrist, all right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Do you have a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand? And of course, it's always a relief to find your own personal version of Cheers. I taught you. Remember, the, it was. It goes this way. Remember. You're amazing. I know I am, right? I don't know how I do it. It's just kind of intuitive. Amazing. But you know what we should do? What? Let's play together. Of course. Okay, ready? Oh, I've got to focus. Hold on. I love the Upper East Side. When you do find that perfect place in your new neighborhood, it's a feeling that's hard to beat. You, you literally have to be there.
have to be there all the time. It's being alone goes off. No, being alone goes off by frequency. I mean, you literally should be there all the you time. You just if you don't want to say literally, because then yeah, I say, and then you say too. literally yeah. at the end. Okay, okay. You will never leave this house <laughs> ever. Put me at the end, bottom of a pit. I want to make a suit out of your skin. Too much. I was at dinner last night, and the man that I was with had longer hair than I did, and I said, "That's disgusting." Selfie. <laughs> <laughs> You can't find spinach like this anywhere else. E. coli or good. not. That is good. Yeah, that's it. Wait, what's my next line? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What? Want to take it through once? Huh? Want to take it through once? What am I saying? <laughs>